In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to select some attributes from the thinning table and then export those to an Excel spreadsheet. To use this, you will need Xtools Pro, and that is available through my website at www.woodtracks.com. So, to begin, I'm going to open the attribute table of Master Thinning by right clicking on it and then lift left clicking on open attribute table. Next I'm going to click on the options button and then I'm going to left click on select by attributes. Now I need to uh, decide what it is I wish to export so I'm just going to make up an example I want to, s I want to export or select and then export all thinning blocks from the year 2007 that were funded by the provincial government. So that's my criteria. So the first thing I need is funding. So uh, the funding source. I'll double click on that uh, and then I'll click the equals button. Now I can manually type it in but it's much easier just to click on something like this get unique values button and then you'll see your two choices. Uh, because you have to type it in exact when you use a, a, an equal operator. So I'm going to just double click on government gov slash prov and then that's the first part of the criteria. The second part I said that was done in the year 2007. So I'm going to click on the and button and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and double click on year now I can click on this Get Unique Values again. Uh, first I'll have to hit the Equal button. Then I'll scroll down and click on 2007. And then I'll click Apply. If you look down here, you'll see 451 of the 3,794 records have been selected. You can see them all in together if I just click the Selected button. And there you will see them. So, we have our selection set. Now, we need to export this to an Excel spreadsheet. So, down here on Xtools Pro, I'll click on that. I'll come up here to Table Operations, and then I'll left-click on Export Data to MS Excel. Now, make sure that it is the selected features and not all of the features. By default, if you have a selection set, that's what will be, uh, this will be checked off. So what I'm going to do is just select some fields that I want to appear in the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to click on the first one with my left mouse button, and then if I want to skip some and just pick one down here, for instance, the type of thinning it is, uh, I'll hold down my control key and then left click on thinning. Otherwise if I would held the shift key I would have selected them all. I'm going to also scroll down here and click on acres, hectares, and the year that it was done. So that way we can get exactly how much area had been done in the year 2007. So now I'm going to click the OK button and the records are exported and put into an Excel spreadsheet which automatically opens. Now you can do whatever formatting that you wish to it. Uh, for instance, there's a lot of decimal points here in our values for area, so I'll just select all those values real quick. And then lower the decimal points to two places a decimal. Just click on this decrease decimal button until it's in two places. And let's see what next we do. We can just double click up here to make the cells the proper width based on the values that are in them. You can add borders. Select the entire spreadsheet. By right clicking on the spreadsheet, left -click clicking on format cells, and selecting the border tab outline them all and then inside them all click OK so our formatting's done I'll scroll to the bottom 
and we'll put in a, a totals. Row. We'll add all these up by clicking the auto sum button. I'll auto sum for the hectares. We have our values. I'll just quickly put a border on that too. And we're done.